Hello everybody out there, how's it going? My name is Gizzle, and today I have a tutorial for you. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys out there how you can uh, make your OBS stream to 720p. Now this is under the assumption that you're trying to stream to twitch.tv. I'm not entirely sure if these settings necessarily apply to all this, all other sites you can use to stream to, um, stream to using um, OBS. But I'm pretty sure they do, so I'm pretty sure this device will also work for you um, if you're trying to stream like to Justin justin.tv or the other sites you can stream to using OBS. Now before we can go and uh, play with the settings we need to find out what our upload speed is. Now if you don't know what upload speed is that basically it's just one half of what your internet speed is. Internet speed basically is in two parts. Download and upload. Upload means the amount you can put out on the internet. Download the amount you can take it down. What we need to know is the upload because when you're streaming you're uploading your video live to the internet so the upload is very important. So, if you, upload, um, if you look in the description, the uh, first link you see will be to speedup.me, which is the speed test site I want you guys to use to find out your speed. Now, I know you guys have probably heard of sites like speedtest.net, but other sites aren't really as accurate as speedup.me. So, basically, when you come to this site, you're going to click where it says test again for me. It's going to say start test or test for you. And you click that and you let that um, go through the test. At the end of the test, it's going to give you two speeds, your download speed and your upload speed. We're going to be looking at the upload speed. Mine is 11.84. Now, after you finish your test and your test um, and your test results say your upload's not like near mine, don't worry about it. We don't want like it doesn't have to be as high as mine. I mean, that's good if yours is high as mine or higher. That's really good. It means you have very good internet. Um, but um, any uh, if it's lower than 11.84, then don't worry about it. And I'll explain to you why in just a minute. So now that we know our upload speed, make sure you guys write that down to memorize that. We're going to go to uh, settings in OBS and go to encoding. So now that we're here, the first thing we want to do is uncheck the CBR box and lower the quality balance. Now the quality balance does not need to be at 10, trust me. To keep a 720p stream crisp on Twitch, we really don't need it to be at 10. I would say 6 or 7. I would, uh, I would more recommend 6, but if you want to make it just a little bit nicer, you can go up to 7 and or even 8. So now what, what we were looking at earlier with the upload speeds, so mine was like about 11.64. So if we basically equated that to max bit rate, it's just basically just adding zeros. So 11,000, thousand, thousand. yeah, well, I, I'm not sure. I, I like, I'm really bad at keeping track of zeros. So let's just say my upload was eight, it'd just be 8,000, right? So now here's the problem though with upload speeds and how this can affect your stream in 720. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put this out there while we're talking about 720p streams. The reason why I'm showing this tutorial specifically for 720p, because if you're trying to stream on Twitch and most sites, 720p is basically the minimum, well, it's basically the standard. Because if you're trying to stream any lower, it looks kind of already really bad. Because like streaming at 720p alone, like like streaming live already lowers that quality so it doesn't even really even look at 720p unless like you know you're kind of motionless and like everything can look really crisp because it looks because it's more of a solid frame but once you start playing games or moving around it doesn't really look 720p like you're used to so going any lower it's really not nice looking so anyways back on track the max bit rate we want is anywhere between 1500 and 2500 the reason that is because that those are the bit rates that work for 720p. If you stream lower than 1500, um, you're like now like in other resolutions. And you stream higher than 2500, you're now in a higher resolution. So we want anywhere between 1500 and 2500. Now, for about where you guys want your stream to be, and and the best way to keep a stream smooth is to save bandwidth. You don't want to stream anywhere higher than um, 2200. Because your stream will look pretty much the same anywhere between 2200 and 2500, so don't worry about it. If you can stream at 2200, don't even try to go any higher. Now, this requires a lot of experimentation on your end, because between, depending on your um, computer strength, like your CPU speed and your internet speed, it'll all vary for you. And you may not even be able to stream at 720p. And if that's the case, then you might have to do some research on your own, because I don't know the um, the bit ranges for um, for any other resolutions besides 720p. So basically, if you have trouble streaming through these bit rates and you can't really stream at 720p, so basically it just requires a lot of experimentation on your end. Just basically is trying to stream out anywhere between 1500 and 2500, and even uh, and then basically as long as your quality balance is low, 
and an activate rate somewhere between 15 and 2500, you will achieve a, stream, um, a smooth stream. Now, in case that doesn't work for whatever reason, because everybody's computers are different, um, something you can try to try to do is doing. You can try to do what I'm about to do here is change the uh, max the uh, custom buffer size. I meant. Basically, the way this works, whatever max, whatever your max bit rate is on the left hand side, on the right hand side where it says buffer size, you can change that to whatever double that number is. So if the max bit rate is 1500, we can change it to 3000 because that's double 1500. And that is basically just doubles the amount of buffer size, which can potentially make your stream a lot smoother if you're having that kind of issues. But only do that if you've tried everything else when it comes to the bit ranges and it's not coming out sh um, smooth on your end. Now with the audio encoding down here, all this is basically where it should be. I'm not sure if this is default um, OBS, but um, to stream on Twitch, you want the bit rate here for the audio to be at 160. So if it's not 160, put it there. Everything else should, I guess, be around here. Make sure the codex at AAC. Make sure your format's at 44.1, not 48. You want it at 44 just to save the bandwidth. There's no difference between the quality of the sound. So once you have all that figured out, we have to make sure we're actually streaming in 720. Do that, make sure we come over here, make sure whatever video adapter you're using, it's the, like, you know, your actual good video card. I don't actually have a good video card on my computer, just the default graphics device. So make sure you have that selected. And here we're gonna set it to 720, 1280 by 720. And make sure you're not downscaling because that'll make your stream look not as good. Also, um, it's best to stream in 30 frames per second because that's about the max. I think Twitch can go into it. No, actually, no, actually, Twitch can go 60. If you can go 60, that's great. But 30 FPS is about the standard. And unless you're playing like a 30, a 60 frame per second game and your computer can handle it, don't bother. Don't bother with 60 frames per second. So if you've done all this and your stream is still not smooth in the way you want it, there's a few more things we can play with. Well, about one more thing we can really play with. And we come down here and we go to video section in our advanced settings and we go to CPU preset. Now under here basically just shows you the amount of uh, the speed that your um, CPU is working at. The slower the go, the nicer the stream your stream will, um, will work, but the more taxing will be on your CPU. So by default, it's going to be at very fast. So if your stream skipping it and you already have it at very fast, then the, the only thing you can do left to maybe get your stream smooth is to raise the CPU preset to super fast or ultra fast. But will this but this effect will have well basically this will make a pixelated kind of effect and overall lower your resolution, even though you're technically are streaming at 720p, it won't look it and it'll look kind of pixelated. And I wouldn't really recommend doing that unless you had no other option and you're trying to get a smooth stream. So that pretty much does it. Those are basically the settings you need to do to um, set up a 720p on Twitch using OBS. Now, if you have any questions regarding OBS or encoding settings, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get to any questions you guys have. Actually, on my other OBS video, I get lots of comments all the time. I try my best to go back and answer, and if I don't answer your response, it's probably because I've already answered someone else's, so just dig through the comments, and hopefully someone else, if I don't answer your question, someone else might be able to. Um, that's all I have to say about this. Um, subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials or any other videos I put out. If, and also, besides just asking questions, if you guys want to see another tutorial answering a question you have about OBS or another software I know about, just uh, send me a message or leave a comment and I can probably do one for you. Well, I'm signing off now. This has been T-Gizzle, and I hope this has helped you out. See you later.